Hello. Every now and again, on a survey, you come across the unusual. And that's what happened to me this week. I was up in the roof space of a Victorian terrace and I happened to notice something at the wall plate. So, being the curious surveyor that I am, I pulled back some insulation and I discovered uh, an example of roof spread. Now, this can uh, manifest in various different ways. And this one was quite an unusual one and perhaps not as bad as it first seemed. And so I thought this would make a good case study. So here it is. Um, I do apologise for the lighting. I was literally up in a roof space with a torch, but I was uh, quite keen to make sure that I got this on film for you to look at. And so let's dive in. Let's go up into the loft space of a Victorian terrace. Uh, I've come across in a roof space. This is a Victorian terrace. And uh, outside, I've determined that these are nine inch solid walls in Flemish Bond. And now I'm in the roof space and I've noticed something at the wall plate. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you what I've found. So do excuse the lighting as well. OK, just let this stabilise. So what you can see here is over there is the sort of thicker section of the wall. And you can see here there's some movement and there's the wall plate and the rafters and then suddenly the brickwork stops and we get some nibs that are sticking out and these are the return headers so where's the rest of the wall well there's the rafters sitting on the inner section of the wall and here's the like a single skin that they've left out and you can see that it just suddenly starts again but I don't know if you can see this, there's a gap there and a gap in here. So that is the wall drifting away on this upper section. And you can see from that detail there that that section of the wall is in trouble. And there's some rafters there from a lean-to roof. So maybe that is stopping uh, some of the uh, movement but I'm a little bit concerned about this roof because there's no contact link between the rafters and the ceiling rafters. And the ceiling rafters normally act as a tie beam. So there's no tie beam to this roof. It has a purlin beam, um, but it's quite a span. The tiles are clay tiles. Um, but this looks like we would need to make some commentary on this in respect of making sure this doesn't move. And I don't think I'm going to be able to see that wall section uh, inside because that's another room at the back. But this is quite an interesting revelation and it's quite an interesting aspect. Whenever you see ceiling rafters uh, down here with common rafters up here, you need to be aware that there's no uh, restraint to the rafters and therefore you're going to get quite a bit of a risk of roof spread. So that's quite an interesting one. So there we have it, quite an interesting example there. So have a think about what you would say about that particular scenario. So when you think about it, the main roof had been pushing out on basically a single skin of a nine inch wall, well, at least the top three courses, but pushing in the opposite direction is the lean to roof of the smaller uh, cat slide section of the roof. So in effect, one could be balancing the other out. And maybe you should be thinking about how long has this particular defect been in place? Because we can have situations where things really don't look right, but maybe they have just drawn themselves to a natural static position. And that maybe we don't have an ongoing situation here at all. Is there a need to repair or rebuild that entire wall? Or are there ways in which we could reduce the risk by, say, introducing some straps uh, to link the common rafters to the ceiling rafters? Or maybe to introduce some cross tie beams in order to make sure that the roof doesn't move any more than it should. Obviously, we would look inside the roof, uh, sorry, the, the room, uh, below to check that there was no cracking involved. I did that and there wasn't. And so I think in generally speaking, the uh, 
idea I came up with was that this was a static situation that had been there for quite some time and that if necessary uh, that tie straps could in fact be introduced. But see what you think, add your comments below and uh, help the discussion for everybody in the group. Um, if you've come across a similar situation of roof spread then please do uh, explain that in your comments below so that we can all share this as well. If you've liked this video, then uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I am available for level three mentoring online, bookable in half hour slots. So um, have a think about this case study and see you soon.